guys, it's Liz here and today's video is going to be a kind of like a day in my life, um, but I'm starting this the night before. Um, it's currently Wednesday night and I'm going to be showing you guys kind of like what I do um, the night before a game. So tomorrow we have a basketball game and so I'm going to kind of just show you guys everything that I do the night before. I'm going to show you guys kind of just like kind of like my night routine but I'm going to be talking to you as well in it and just everything. So I'm going to be doing my skincare first. Um, I actually probably need to put my hair up really quick. So um, I've just started using this stuff again and I've pretty much only used it like once but I'm excited to see kind of how everything works and looks. So the first thing um, I am using my Good Molecules Brightening Toner. I was also going to say that um, I recently just got a whole bunch of stuff in from Lululemon that I ordered on Christmas Day and um, I like recorded a little bit of that so I will insert that clip in here. Okay, this is my second time trying to record this. <sighs> the first time I didn't put my SD card in my camera. Um, I just got back to Louisville yesterday from my hometown so I just got my package from Lulu that I ordered last week I believe yeah um, so I just want to show you guys everything that I got because I got a bunch of stuff and I'm really excited about it and there's a little sneak peek next to me but first thing I got this like lemon yellow free to be wild bra <clears throat> um, and these I usually size up just because I find that it fits me better and that I can still wear the pads um, if I don't want to wear the pads, then I can just keep it as my normal size, but I, I like to wear the pads in these lighter colors. So, this one's like this kind of lemon, very, very, very light lemon yellow, just barely off-white. And this was on sale. I don't know how much, but I can put it on the screen. The next one I got is the Flo Wybra. It looks like this. Um, I also got this one in a size up as well. I got this in a 10. Um, and for the same reason as the last one, um, just because I, I feel like it's a little bit more comfier like on my rib cage um, when I do size up, but the back just looks like this. That's the print, super cute. Um, and this one I got on sale as well. I, again, I can put the um, sale amount that I paid for um, on the screen. The next thing I got was this super cute purple energy bra. I have this bra also in green as well, and I just love this. This I did get in my normal size, which is an 8, but I just love how simple it is. I think it's beautiful, and this color purple is literally gorgeous. Like, I'm literally obsessed with it. And then to go with those, I also got these line pants. Um, these are just the normal 25-inch line, um, and they're in the same purple as the other ones. I believe they were also on sale. Um, as well. And then the last clothing item I got was the Like a Cloud Bra Long Line Ribbed. Um, this is in black and I really like how the back is crisscrossed um, and I really like to wear these bras as my like everyday bra. Um, so I'm excited to try out the long line because I have three others and they're just the normal length like they go right here. Um, so I'm really interested to see how I like the long line version. And then, the thing that I'm most excited for, I got sneakers from Lululemon. I have been wanting to try their Lululemon running shoes for literally, like, since they came out with them, I've been wanting to try them, but I kind of just had to wait. So, they had these on sale for the new, or like, the end of the year, and guys, they're so beautiful. Look at this. So freaking gorgeous. Um, I just love this, the like rose gold color. I think they're so nice and obviously like I'm a huge fan of just plain workout shoes. So the ones like, the ones I have right now are actually literally just black and white. So I got these in an eight and a half. Um, so I hope that they fit and that they're not super big, but I think this will be perfect. I'm like so excited to wear these. I might actually wear them to lift. Actually, 
I'm lifting legs tonight, so that's not going to happen. But <laughs> I can wear them to lift tomorrow. So I'm really excited about these. And yeah, so that's everything I got from Lulu. But now I'm just going to use the toner. So next is the Hyaluronic higher hyaluronic acid serum um again this is good molecules this is like everything i'm using is good molecules actually um and i used to use this probably like a couple months ago and i like stopped not really for like any specific reason kind of just i just wanted to see like how my skin would do without it but honestly I haven't really seen like a big difference like with or without it so and I like it it's really nice stuff and it's super good quality and the good thing is it's like you can buy it at you know Ulta so and it's decently inexpensive I mean it's not like cheapest stuff ever but it's definitely not you know a million dollars so Okay, so now we have the Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel, um, which honestly, I bet this is probably for the morning. Oh, it says you can use it at night. I don't know. Does it really matter? Probably not, but yeah. I like never use like eye, what is this? eye gel stuff. Um, so this is kind of like my first kind of like trial of using it all. Um, but I do notice that I've had some pretty gnarly under eye bags. So I'm just kind of hoping that like this kind of brightens it up a little bit. I don't, I don't really know. But I like the way it feels. It's very, very, very creamy and like good. I don't know. The last thing I'll be using is the silicone free priming moisturizer. Again, it's nighttime. You probably can just use normal moisturizer for this, but I wanted to just use everything, you know, that I have that's good molecules. So, yeah. I do like how um, thick this is, though. I think it's very, very, very moisturizing, which is good because. I have actually s extremely dry skin, like, okay, it's not extremely dry, that's being dramatic, but I have very dry skin, especially in the winter, like right now, um, not only on my face, but also like on my body too, so, it's very nice, this stuff is super moisturizing, and then the very last step in my little skincare routine is some Aquaphor on my lips, because it's, this is a life hack. Aquaphor on your lips is like the best and it's so, I mean you get so much and it's, I don't know. So I usually, I got hair in my mouth, um, I usually put this on at night, the Aquaphor. I don't wear it all the time, but yeah. So I'm going to get changed. Actually, I'm probably not going to record myself. I'm going to self tan really quick and then I will get back. There is so much hair in my mouth. And then I will get back on here and kind of show you guys the after. Um, but I can show you guys a little before of my legs really quick. Okay, here's a before of my legs. Well, in my stomach. You can't really see because I'm not going to tan my arms or my face. So I just did the self tan and put my clothes on. So I forgot to show you guys my legs, but I can show you my stomach really quick. Um... This is the stomach. Again, it doesn't really look that much different. Like, it's not supposed to. It's not a spray tan. Like, it's not supposed to look crazy. But I wanted to show you guys that this is the self-tanner I used. Um, this is the St. Moritz Tanning Mousse in Dark. Um, it's the, like, develop one. And um, it's got a guide color, which is something that I was actually really looking for when I got this. I would say it's probably like a two-thirds of the way done, but you can buy it at like Target, I believe, or like Ulta, 
and then I just have this little mitt. I think that's going to be it for tonight's portion of this video, but I will see you guys in the morning. Hopefully I can remember to show you guys my hair routine. So, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning vlog. So it's currently Thursday morning. As you can tell, I just got out of the shower and put my work clothes on. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of like what I do with my hair routine. But first, this is the condition that I use today. This is the Camille Rose Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard. I just started using this. I got it from Target um, back home. And I literally love it for like days like today where I'm only conditioning it. So I just wanted to tell you guys that because I actually love it. So the first thing I'm gonna be using is my pattern leave-in conditioner. Okay, so I can't tell if my face is in it. Okay, so I flip my hair over like this. And then I get like this much. Duncan, back up. And then I just put it all on the ends. And I focus it mainly like everywhere but my roots. And um, as you can tell before I took my hair out, I had it just wrapped up in a microfiber towel. Um, it, it's like a hair towel, but I just do that to get like a little bit of the moisture out so that it's not like dripping wet, but I don't want it to be like dry either. And I find that the microfiber towel does that. Um, I have a lot of hair fallout. So there's that. And then after that, I take my Cantu Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. And I get like that much. And while I'm still hunched over, I just scrunch it in my hair. It smells so good. Like coconuts and I don't even know what else. Just very, very yummy. And then once I feel like I got most of the product like out of my hands and into my hair, then I take my microfiber towel again and plot my hair. Um, so I take the part that like goes around your head with the button on the back, I make it flat or like a little bowl and then I put my hair in it and I make sure that like nothing's gonna fall out and then there's like no hair in this part right now and then Duncan I put it on and right now all of my hair is like on top of my head it's not in the spiral part at all. So that's that. I leave this in for about like 10, 15, 20 minutes, kind of like however long it takes me to finish getting ready. Um, which since I have the game tonight, I will not be wearing makeup today. So I just have to put on like my moisturizer and then I will be like done getting ready for the most part. So yeah, so I can show you guys. This is like the everyday moisturizer I use, the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Um, I kind of used, I was, was using this as my like twice a day, but once I switched to the good molecule stuff, I just use it in the, whenever I'm like not using my good molecule stuff, if that makes sense. But that's that. I'm gonna go eat some breakfast, make my coffee, um, and get my lunch together, and then go to work. And then I'll see you guys back here later when I'm getting ready for the game. Have a good day! Okay, so it's currently 4.52. I just got home from work, and I'm about to make myself some dinner, but I wanted to show you guys an update on like what my hair looks like, um, because obviously it's been like over eight hours since 
I wash my hair. So I was gonna show you guys what it looks like. And I am indeed still in my work clothes. Um because I figured it's gonna be easier to just change into my like cheer stuff. I'm going to get ready. So about to go eat a salad and probably some milk. Um, and then I probably have to start getting ready because I have to leave here at 6 p.m. and it's 4.53. So I'm gonna go eat really quick and I'll update you guys when I start getting ready. Okay, so I just ate and now I am about to start getting ready, like I said. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of take you guys through what I do to get ready. So we're going to start off with some primer. This is the Hangover RX Too Faced Primer. I'm gonna put some foundation on. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Um, I've only used it like once before, so. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Taupe. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, just to set them. But I will put on some blush. Actually, I can put the bronzer on my eyes. put some bronzer on my eyes because since I'm not doing eyeshadow just so it looks like there's something there I don't know this is the benefit hula bronzer I've probably had this actual bronzer for like five years but I've just barely hit pan on it so this is the Mac fix plus It smells so good. Um, I'm gonna use these new lashes I just got. They are Ardell Wispies Foam Ink. Now we're going to do liner. Now that my face is all dried. Lash glue. Now we have to wait for it to dry. So I'm going to curl my natural lashes. Look at this curly cue. It's so little. I keep my hair actually turned out. Lizzie. Hey, Boppy. How you doing? I'm good. Just getting ready for a basketball game. They're not as dramatic as they normally are, but I like them. This is the look, makeup wise. I'm about to change and then I will get back on and show you guys doing my hair okay just put my uniform on as you can see so now I am about to do my hair it is um, half up half down like in the back so I love when we do that because it means I can actually like wear my natural hair um, and not do anything crazy with my hair. So this is the bow. How does it look? Beautiful? All right. Um, I just need to put my earrings in, put lipstick on, and then put my warm-ups on. And then I'm ready to go. So, maybe I'll vlog. Well, we're there. Maybe not. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So, um, if anything, I'll see you guys after, but maybe I'll see you there. Okay. That's better. Okay. So, as I was saying, I just got back from the game and we won, but I forgot to record anything at the game, so sorry about that. But that's going to be the end of this week's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing how I get ready, how I prep for games. Um, 
And yeah, let me know if you guys have any requests down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!